All right, now as Samsung Galaxy phone users, most of us use Samsung's MyFiles application for organizing our files on the Galaxy phones. And many of us think that this is the best file organizing application out there in the Android world. Now, what if I told you Google's Files application is slightly better than the Samsung's MyFiles application on the Galaxy phone? Not sure whether you agree with me or not. In this video, I'm gonna compare the Google's Files application with Samsung's MyFiles application and show you some unique features and differences. After watching this video, do let me know in the comment section which application application would you prefer using? Is it Samsung My Files or Google Files application? But before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel, do hit that subscribe button because you get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones, Android phones, and anything related to technology. Go ahead, subscribe, and become a part of Apex community, and hit that like button if you find this video informative. Now let's dive into the video. First, the user interface. Both the applications offer a very simple, well laid out design. All that we need is quite well accessible on the homepage itself. We've got recent files on the top, then we've got categories, then we've got storage options. Now under categories, you can see we've got images, videos, audio files, documents, and downloads. On Google Files application, we have got an additional option, app list. We'll be able to directly access the application list right here. Whereas on Samsung Galaxy phones, we have to go to manage storage, then tap on show more, and then you tap on the applications. That is when you get that entire list. So there are about three to four steps involved on My Files app to reach the app list, whereas on the Google Files application, we have got it right there under categories. Now let me just open images here. As you can see, on My Files application, the entire list of images will show up right here, whereas on the Google Files application, we have got folders right on top. It is very easy to navigate to different folders that we have got on the phone, which is not possible on Samsung's My Files application. For that, you will have to go to the internal storage and then find the folder that you're looking for. So it's very easy to navigate and sort the file on a Google's Files application. Now here's a very interesting and useful feature. We have got something called collections on Google Files where we have got safe folder. That is where you can hide your files, maybe images, videos, audio files, documents, anything that you want to hide, you will be able to hide it right there inside that safe folder. And when you hide the files, it will not show up inside this Samsung's gallery application, which is pretty good. And what's more interesting is, it will also not show up inside Samsung's own My Files application. To hide the files, all you need to do is just open the file, tap on the three dot button, tap on move to save folder. Once you have moved it, it will not show up inside your gallery, it will not show up on Samsung My Files application. So we have got a hidden folder within Google's Files application. Of course, we do have a secure folder on Samsung Galaxy phones, which is good enough, but it's great to have a second option within My Files application. Anything that you want to hide, go ahead and just hide it inside the application itself. Now, if you want to scan a document on Samsung Galaxy phones, usually we open the camera application, point the camera at the document that we want to scan, and the phone will recognize the document document, it'll take a couple of seconds and you tap on the scan button, take the image and then adjust the uh, borders and then save that image. So that's a pretty long process. But if you have Google Files application, you have that scan button right there at the bottom right. Just tap on that, the camera will open up, you've got manual and auto capture. The auto capture is pretty interesting. What it does is it will automatically uh, recognize the borders of the document and captures it. You don't even have to press that capture button. You just have to remain still, it will capture the image and it will save in PDF format, which is amazing. That's a Google Files exclusive feature we have got inside the application. If you have a Pixel phone, you've got an additional option. There is a button called Receive. When you tap on that, it will activate QuickShare and your device will be visible to others for sharing files through QuickShare. That's currently available on the Pixel phones. It may come to the uh, Google Files app on the other devices as well, including the Samsung Galaxy phones. Let's wait and see that. I really wish the scanning features and uh, Receive Files features are available on the Samsung My Files application as well. That would be really great. I hope Samsung adds it soon. Next, when you tap on that hamburger menu inside the files application, you have this option called clean. Tapping on that will give you an entire list of suggestions to delete all the unwanted files that we have on the phone. And these suggestions are pretty good. You can see on top, it shows the current device storage. And then we've got junk files, tapping on which you can clear all the junk files that you have. We've got delete old screenshot option. Then we've got delete large files delete unused applications, delete recordings media, and it also suggests a few other files which can be deleted. And you can see at the bottom, we have got Google Play Protect, which is on, it says. So within this file also, we have got Google Play Protect, which will scan the applications and files for any sort of threats. So that's a fantastic feature we have got. Now, cleaning the files on My Files application is also not that bad, but the kind of suggestions we get on the Google Files application is just next level. Next, when you go to settings inside files application, we get an option called pause search 
search history. This will temporarily hide searches made on this device from the search history. If you search for any specific photos or videos or any kind of documents on the uh, files application, that history will not show up until you enable this toggle within the application. The last unique feature I would like to talk about is editing the images within files applications. Now on my files application, if you open a particular image, it will directly take you to the gallery. So there is an integration between my files and gallery. Whenever you tap on the images in videos, it will be redirected to the gallery application. That is where you will be able to further edit these images. Whereas on the Google Files application, when you open an image and tap on edit, it will take you to the Google's editing options. We have got magic editor right there at the bottom left and we have got some AI suggestions there and we do have all other editing options offered by Google within Files application, which is fantastic. So on Galaxy phone itself, you will have both editing options. From Samsung, you will have it within the gallery and the Google's magic editor and all other Google editing options will be available within Files application. These are some amazing features that we get on Files application, which is unique to it. And some of them are, of course, available on the Samsung's MyFile app as well. But many of them are unique to Google's Files application. I really like the scan option that we have at the bottom right and the clean option to clean all the unwanted uh, data that we have on the uh, storage is just next level on Google's Files application. Now, it's time you guys let me know which application is better for you and any particular feature that interests you the most, drop a comment and let me know. And if you want to add any other features which are unique to the My Files application or Google Files application, drop a comment and share your thoughts. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel if you haven't done it already go ahead tap that subscribe button and give that video a like if you find this video entertaining and useful thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye